Are you struggling to find affordable housing in the Philadelphia suburbs? What if I told you there are plenty of areas just waiting to be discovered that are very affordable? This video is gonna break down the four steps needed in order to find that affordable housing in the Philadelphia area. Stay tuned. Hey, my name is Doug Bear, the Philly Suburb Realtor. If you are looking to buy, sell, or invest anywhere in the Philadelphia area from the city up to Lehigh Valley, make sure you reach out to me, call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of me. And if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play right here in the suburbs of Philly, PA, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell icon to be notified every time I drop new videos each week. Let's get into the four steps on how to find affordable housing right here in the Philadelphia suburbs. So the first step in how to find affordable housing in the Philadelphia suburbs is understanding the market. So right now we are definitely in a seller's market at the recording of this video of May of 2024. What that means is there are more people looking to buy than there are houses to sell. So the demand outweighs the supply pretty simple now the other part of understanding the market is understanding the area so if you're unfamiliar with pennsylvania or specifically philadelphia suburbs we're broken down into a bunch of counties so in the philadelphia suburb area it's going to be bucks county montgomery county chester county delaware county lehigh valley and philadelphia county so understanding the differences in the counties and then within those counties there are uh, boroughs. So for example, right now I live in Percocet Borough, which is in Bucks County. So one thing to keep in mind when you're doing your research is to make sure you understand not only the, you know, the housing costs, but what the property taxes are, and also if there's additional income tax for the area that you're looking in. So in Percocet Borough, where I live, there is actually an additional 0.5% income tax so that might not work for some people. For me and my family's lifestyle and our goals in life, it definitely still works for us. That's why we're here. And that's also the importance of kind of figuring out what is the best area and the best lifestyle and what you're looking for you. Everybody's different. So it's definitely a good idea to figure that out, what you're looking for and what your lifestyle and life goals are. So the second tip for finding affordable housing in the Philadelphia suburb area is researching the different suburbs. So a lot of times people will navigate and, and be attracted to places like Doylestown, New Hope, King of Prussia, Phoenixville, Collegeville, Conshohocken, all of the you know popular areas where a lot of people are moving to. And those are great areas. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's a lot of great smaller towns right on the edges of most of these areas that are way more affordable. So for example, if you're looking in Doylestown area, you can go maybe 20, 30, 20 to 30 minutes west over to Green Lane, Perkiomanville, East Greenville, you know, those areas where the housing cost different might, might even be like half, uh, depending on what you're looking for and you know, which suburb you land on. Uh, the property taxes are also going to be less, especially compared to Doylestown Borough, which is very expensive. Same with New Hope and all these areas. So if you look at a New Hope, you could look at a place like Ottsville, which is not too far away, right, right near Lake Naka Mixon. Um, and you can just, if you really do your research, and this is what I'm here for too, with uh, you know everybody that's reaching out to me, scheduling their Zoom consultation, we, we always start with researching the area first, seeing if there's a specific spot you need to be a certain distance or drive from, whether it's for work or family or whatever your reason is for moving here. We just sit down, figure out what that point is and then draw a radius. Then I'll be able to help you figure out what areas around there fit your budget and lifestyle and your long-term goals too. So that's another reason, uh, another tip for understanding how to find affordable housing in the Philadelphia suburb area. Now, another part of that is also looking at the different types of housing, whether it's townhouses, split levels, single family homes, condos, apartments, mobile home, manufactured home, whatever you're looking for, there's a lot of different things that go into, you know, one might cost more than the other. So kind of figuring out what your budget is and the different styles of home that you're looking at 
So for example, if you're looking for a single family home, most of the time a split level or a bi-level home is going to be less expensive than a colonial or a traditional style home. So those are also some things to factor in because those homes are less desirable even though there is so much buyer demand, not a lot of people like living in a, in a bi-level home. So if you wanna look for those types of homes that maybe are less desirable but in the area that you're looking, that's also something to consider as well. There may be less competition for that. So if you're okay with living in a house like that with that style, that's something to consider. Tip number three on how to find affordable housing is networking and just getting to know people in the area. You know, that's what I do locally. I, I'm always networking. I'm part of a couple of networking groups. I'm always out meeting people. I'm always hosting events. So that's another way that you can find things. So for example, I work with a lot of investors. So a lot of times investors, they're looking for off market houses because that's where you can potentially make a, a really a lot of money on a good deal. Same thing for if you're trying to find your own home, it doesn't always have to be the investor strategy. You could find, you know, maybe I have an off market deal that I know about for an investor, but the numbers don't make sense. And maybe if I present it to you, it does make sense for you. So that's another thing too, just to look at networking and getting to know people you know, letting the people know what you're looking for, what your budget is. And as you know, the more people you let know in the area, the better chances that you're gonna find something maybe with a lot less competition if it's not on the MLS. There are still some pretty good affordable housing on the multiple listing service, but if it's on the multiple listing service, there are definitely more eyeballs on it and more people aware that it is for sale. So that's something else to consider with looking for and finding affordable housing within the Philadelphia suburb area. That could be really applied anywhere, uh, but definitely in the Philadelphia suburb area. And kind of piggybacking off of the investing strategy is if you look at maybe foreclosures or if you're looking at things like tax lien investing, stuff like that, you could find some great deals and great homes in those avenues as well. There's starting to be more competition even in the foreclosure area so it's you know not a guarantee it's also a, a much different process than just putting an offer in and then going through the motions there's it's a lot more involved if you go through like a short sale or a foreclosure or if you're at a sheriff sale whatever the case is those are definitely uh, more involved which is why you should definitely work with a seasoned realtor like myself who can help navigate you through that if you do find a deal that is um, you know, foreclosure, that's something that would work for you and your family that you want to pursue. So that's another way uh, to find affordable housing here in the Philadelphia suburb area. And the last tip, and honestly, this is probably the most important and the best way uh, is to schedule your Zoom consultation, meet with me, someone who knows all of the areas. So what I do with a lot of clients, um, and I just helped someone move here from Vancouver, Washington. So we just scheduled a Zoom consultation, we had a phone call uh, and we just talked about what they're looking for, what their budget was, what lifestyle there was. And based off that information, me getting to know you a lot more, I can start to advise you on what areas maybe you should be looking at, maybe let you know of towns that nobody knows about unless you live in this area that are more affordable uh, and, and everything like that. So. That's definitely, if you sit down with myself and my lender, if you are looking to get a mortgage, unless you're paying cash, but it's a great option to schedule your Zoom consultation with us. Make sure you tell us everything that you're looking for. Don't hold back. Uh, let us know what your budget is, what you're thinking about as far as lifestyle area, what you need, the amenities you need, your must haves. And I'm talking specifically in areas because you want to look at area first and then you can find the house within the radius that we talk about. So that's the final tip here on how to find affordable housing here in the Philadelphia market area. If you are looking to buy, sell, invest, relocate anywhere in the Philadelphia area from the city up to Lehigh Valley, make sure you reach out to me, call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of me. And again, my name is Doug Bear, the Philly Suburb Realtor. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you found value in this video, Please subscribe, give it a like, share it to someone who you might think uh, finds value in this. Helps my channel a lot more than you think. And uh, let me know your, your thoughts. If you're watching this far, comment below, give me your thoughts. What's the average home value in your area? Where are you from? I'd love to get to know all of you. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.